Okay, hold on. Sit her down a second. Just hold, hold on. Wait. I said, wait. Wind down that way. No, uh, not too much right yet. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. And lift the door of that jack. Sorry, I'm gonna. Yeah, we can. Good. Yeah, hold on, we'll wheel it. What's that? We can wheel it. Yeah. Hold on. <sighs> You're under there as far as you can, as straight as you can. Whoa. Okay, you're close. Don't say that yet, we're not on it yet. Okay, you're good right now. Easy. Hold on, wait. Okay, a little more. Wait. Go ahead and bring her up a little. A little more. A little more. A little more. The more good, good. That's good. Whoa, little. Okay, step on off the wheeler. Yep. Just want to get this weight as low as we can. turn.
Now we're kind of the king of weird lighting tonight, folks, but uh, guess what? Next step on this build that we're currently involved in to get to the next build to get to the next build. The next step is putting the sawmill head on the trailer. Once we have that, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to take it out to where I have some logs. We're going to test the log ramps. We're going to test how square it cuts. We're going to test everything out on this thing, and we're going to go for it. So what I'm hoping, um, I shouldn't say what I'm hoping, definitely this weekend, after this week, the following videos will be from the woods. We're finally getting out this weekend. It'll be Memorial Day weekend. We're getting out to start cutting our timbers. We're going to do, we're going to cover it like we did the last build. We're going to go in depth pretty heavily with everything we're doing. We're going to get into timber selection once again. What we're cutting this time is going to be a whole lot of hemlock. So I'm going to get into talking about what the big difference is between eastern white pine and hemlock is for timber framing and just building in general. But uh, we went with bolting down the mill tracks. I ran out of daylight so the camera didn't run for that entire portion of it. But I only had the shim in a couple of spots so we got really lucky there. It's nice and level, nice and square. We're actually in really good shape. So. Like I said, next step, we get that mill head on there. We get our asses to the woods. I don't know if I'll drag the sawmill down there this weekend because we have a lot of trees that we have to cut and we have trails to make to get the trees out of there. It's going to be quite a bit of work, but it will be definitely worth it. And lucky you guys, it should make some real good video content. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. And the last thing before we go... Uh, you guys are seeing some uploads of old videos being uploaded again. That is not to get view counts, although we have done that in the past and open full honesty and all that good stuff. This is the issue is I'm having a big run of copyright claims against a bunch of the old videos right now. I used to use a royalty free website that didn't cost anything and boy does that bite you in the ass. So if you guys are starting a YouTube channel or you're monetized already, Spend the 10 bucks a month to get yourself royalty free music where it's guaranteed you're not going to get copyright claims because it's a pain in the ass. You alienate your viewers, and they think you're just trying to upload old stuff to get your views, and you can't blame them. Um, but I think I have, at this point, I think I'm up to eight or nine right now that are into the demonetized realm. So, what happens when somebody files a copyright claim on your video? Whoever filed that claim gets the revenue from your video. You don't get any of it. You can fight it, but if you're wrong, you could have your channel yanked. So it's not worth it. For me, what I do is I download them again, the videos themselves. I re-edit, change the music, and I put them back out there. That takes care of any of the copyright claims. So if you guys see a bunch of the old ones, don't worry. That's not the direction we're going. It's more just to get rid of those copyright claims because it's a lot of hard work doing these videos and I'm not going to see some nutsack collecting off of my hard work. So anyway, have a good night everybody and I'll catch you on the next one.